For the RAF women in their first Challenge Cup campaign, this was always going to be a massive learning curve. Many of the girls here new to the sport. After a thrilling win against Lee Miners in the first round, they were up against a classy outfit in Bradford Bulls, who won the Cup two years ago. They faced such formidable opponents as England centre Amy Hardcastle, who as early as the third minute tore through the heart of the RAF team to score their first converted try. She added a second soon after, chasing down Danielle Bass's kick ahead of Beth Vasey to make it 10-0. Fighting a stiff first half wind and deteriorating unseasonal weather conditions, the RAF couldn't find a way through their Super League opponents. Bradford Bulls added four further tries in the first half, this one completing Amy Hardcastle's hat-trick, three of the five she would score. And she set up Olivia Wood for another Bradford try. The RAF had few opportunities to break into opposition territory, but they stuck to their guns. Some good possession here before Courtney Osler was taken out by a high tackle from Leisha Williams, but nothing came from the extra six tackles. 32-0 at half-time was quickly extended by the Bradford Bulls. Two more tries before their ninth try, a first-ever score in a Bulls jersey for Bailey Alexander. Also getting in on the act, another England international, Savannah Andrade, the sister of former RAF man Jason, now playing for Batley, scoring their final try. In the end, the Bulls scored 12 tries to win the game 56-0, progressing to the quarter-finals. The RAF players downed, but by no means downhearted. The opportunity to, to play a, uh, a Super League team sorry, in the Challenge Cup is a, a draw that we could have only dreamt of at the start. Um, and the girls have done exceptionally well today. There's some hard tackling, some good lines, um, and we've done well on, on what has been an momentous occasion for the team. Tough outfit, um, big strong side with Bradford. But the girls stuck at it, and credit to them. Uh, they show the heart, determination, as they have for the last two rounds. Um, there's definitely points we can take away from it, um, which we'll work on in training and hopefully we'll take forward and um, put that into our future games and also looking into the inner services this year. The determined RAF women will be back stronger and more experienced next time. John Knighton, Forces News, Sleaford.